sample problem, the grain size analysis for a soil is given below. The soil is non-plastic. Classify the soil according to USCS. So this is the grain size analysis result. Okay. And in order to classify the soil, we have to make use of the USCS table, which is this one. So you can, do you can download this one or you can print this uh, table from uh, the geotechnical engineering book of Brahadas. Okay. So the solution for this one is really ano delicate siya mathematical in nature. Uh, what we have to do is just to um, uh, use this table and then uh, ano lang sort lang natin kung ano yung magfit na mga criteria from left to right. Okay. So number one is that. The percent passing number 200 is 3% only. Hence, it is a coarse grain soil. So, from the leftmost portion of the table, we start by classifying the percent of pa percent passing in number 200. So, uh, as shown in the given data, percent passing number 200 is 3% only. Therefore, uh, Konte lang ang nagpass through sa number 200. So, that means that the soil is considered as coarse-grained material. So, andito tayo sa taas. Ito lang ang gagamitin natin na uh, portion. So, the soil is either GWGP, GMGC, SWSP, SM, or SC. And then, next, uh, the percent passing number 4 is 94%. Hence, it is a sand. So, ang percent passing number 4 is 94%. So, pag ano daw, gravel, dapat more than 50% of coarse fraction must retained on number 4. Pero pag 50% or more of the coarse fraction passes number 4, then this is a sand. Therefore, our option now reduces to SW, SP, SM, and SC. Next, it is either SP or SW because the soil is non-plastic. So, from the four sand categories, uh, only SW and SP are considered as non-plastic because SM and SC are uh, plastic, kumbaga sand na merong fine materials. So, duha na lang ato ang option. It's either SW or SP. So, now, let's proceed to the category in which we can classify the the two that the sand as either SW or SP for it to be classified as SW C sub U must be greater than or equal to 6 and the value of C sub C must be within 1 and 3 and then for it to be considered as SP the the percent of fines must be less than 5% and C sub U is must be less than 6 and or so ibig sabihin uh, Pwede itong dalawang criteria na to or pwede isa lang. Okay. So, let's proceed. Soil is classified as SP. Bakit? Because as we have mentioned earlier that the percent passing number 200 or the percent of fines is only 3% or less than 5% lang. So, ibig sabihin, SP good na siya. Itong criteria na to na si sub you must be less than 6 is just a confirmation that it is indeed SP. Okay? So, you may plot the particle size distribution curve in a semi-log graph and then find the value of C sub C. And you can confirm that the value of C sub C or the ratio of D60 and D10 is less than 6. So, it confirms that the, the classification of the soil is SP. So now, ano naman yung kanyang group name? So itong figure naman in na ito is you can get this one from figure 5.4 from the book of same book pa rin, Brahadas, Principles of Geotechnical Engineering, 9th edition. So sa SP na classification, meron tayong dalawang possible na uh, group name. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So it's either poorly graded sand or poorly graded sand with gravel. So it depends on the percentage of gravel. So this time, let's now compute for the percentage of gravel. So note that the percent percentage of gravel are those portion na nagretain sa number four. So ibig sabihin the percent the percentage of gravel is equal to 100 minus 94. 94 being the one being the value of the percent passing number 4. So that means the percentage of gravel is only equal to 6% or that is less than 15%. So yung SP natin na group symbol will have a group name na poorly graded sand. Therefore, the category or the USCS classification of this type of soil is SP and the group name is poorly graded sand.